Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to plan a biking or running route in Strava. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. So first of all, log into your Strava account on a desktop or laptop computer. You can't do this on the mobile device. So once you've done that, go into your explore section and select create a route or a route, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And then you can click any starting place on the map. And let's say I want to start somewhere like Oh, up here at the intersection near the Bethel Community Forest. And I can simply click to start my route and click along the map. Now, if you want to get into a little more detail, just zoom in so that you don't miss out on neat little parts that you could go on. For example, I want I know that this is a bridge and I want to go over that little bridge. And I want to drag down this way and come around over here. And now I have my little route planned. And I can save that route. And I can call it demo of biking in Bethel. And I can make that public or private. I'm gonna leave it as private and save it to my routes. Now, once it's saved, I can sync it to the head unit on my bike. In my case, I use a Wahoo element, but you can do it with a Garmin device or a Hammerhead device if you want to as well. Now you can go back in here. Let's take a look at some other ways to create a route. You'll see over here on the left-hand side that I currently have manual mode turned off. I want to turn manual mode on in this case and show you what happens when I use manual mode. So with manual mode, let's go back up here and start my route. And I can do things like go right across this river. And even though there may not be something on the map that shows that you can cross the river, perhaps you know from experience of having gone out there, that you can actually cross the river there. But you'll also notice that nothing automatically snaps to the road when I'm using manual mode. So if I want things to snap to the road, I do have to go back and click and drag and align those things to the road. So manual mode is nice if there's something that you want to do that the map doesn't actually show. But you do have to make sure you go back and adjust the lines if they don't go exactly where you expected them to. And then again, you can save that route and you can sync it to the head unit on your bike. Or you can also sync it to your smartwatch if you want to, if you want to do a running route. So that's how you can create a biking route in Strava. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, or if you really like this, check out edtechfitness.com.